Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Let's get right into this Starfield gaming news. So, Starfield update 1.14.70 is live. The article reads, Starfield's latest update is here, and with it comes the game's first story expansion, Shattered Space, embark on a journey to the handcrafted homeworld of House Ruin and unravel the mystery surrounding the elusive followers of the Great Sin. This update also contains fixes for quests, the Rev 8, the Shipbuilder, and more. Read on for the full update notes. Creation Kit, the automated process used to create models for distant LOD is now available. General performance and stability improvements resolved an issue that limited the number of loaded creations to 255. Lighting changes and enhancements have been made throughout the game, made several visual improvements and bug fixes for weapon models, improved player head tracking when exiting dialogue, the, can the player's camera should no longer be jostled when jumping. Gameplay, the annihilated particle beam damage over time effect no longer affects companions. Robots and turrets will now take damage from EM weapons. Crafting addressed an issue with the Boom Pop Dynamite recipe. Elite crew, Autumn, Macmillan no longer repeats herself when asking about her sister. Addressed an issue with crowd behavior. Near the well elevator in New Atlantis spaceport, and combat is initiated. Quest Burnout Address the issue with progression after speaking with Joyce, Osaka, and New Homestead. Doing full addressed a rare issue with the delinquent spaceship appearing. Eyewitness player can no longer enter the destroyed ship on the spaceport landing. Hostile intelligence addressed an issue that could cause the door to the security office to be increased if they fast travel away and wait during the quest objective. In memory M addressed an issue that could prevent progression during the speak with Sarah objective that takes place near the waterfall In memory M fixed an issue that could prevent the objective proceed to Cassiopeia I from completing if the planet had been visited previously. Leader of the pack addressed an issue that could prevent the Ashta Alpha from being aggressive. Legacies N addressed an issue that could prevent interaction with Degado if siding with size death. Legacies and release Crimson Fleet prisoners will no longer target Ikande after obtaining weapons. Managing assets addressed rare issue that could prevent Tomo from appearing at Paradiso. One giant leap fixed an issue that could cause incorrect music to play during the Unity scene. One giant leap addressed an issue with audio that could occur during the credits. One small step resolved rare camera issue that could occur if the first Crimson Fleet ship in the tutorial is boarded. Revelation addressed an issue with quest target consistency in the final encounter. Rook meets King Dimitri Moldvasky will now respond as intended if Austin Rake is killed during the encounter. Rook meets King addressed an issue where one of the Ragana crew was using the incorrect weapon animations. Rough landings fixed a rare issue with Melina Axlerod's ship to appearing. The best there is addressed an issue that. So I just want to apologize. Forgive me. I had to go to IGN to get the rest of the patch notes as the first patch notes that I begin to go through. We're from the official Bethesda.net. I, some reason, can't seem to find the article where I initially got the 
patch notes from. So I'm gonna just continue on from IGN's article about the same patch notes. Aquila updated some textures in the slums. Aquila resolved a collision issue with bunk beds, deserted biotics labs, fixed missing panels on the exterior floor, Lair of the Mantis resolved a minor texture issue that could appear on some panels. Londinium steam tunnels fixed collision in an area that could allow players to get out of bounds. Maheo Eye closed an open gap on the roof of Sony DeFalco's mansion. Neo Nix's apartment fixed an issue with collision in the area. Neon addressed a collision issue with graded panels and outside. New Atlantis addressed small areas with water in the lake north of New Atlantis. Could appear to intersect terrain. Shroud Eklund Staryard addressed collision in an area. The clinic addressed a visual issue that could appear in Dr. Cassidy's office. The Red Mile addressed a collision issue under the platforms in the final area. Shipbuilder, a new option has been added to the game settings to allow for toggling flip merge behavior use. Shipbuilder fixed an audio issue that could occur when deleting a had. Shipbuilder fixed a crash that could occur when modifying a ship that contained a live mine. Addressed an issue that could allow non sealable ships, excuse me, sellable ships to be sold to vendors. To vendors. Addressed an issue with set active in the vehicle menu when using a gamepad. Fixed an issue with the position of the wheel VFX. Addressed an issue with opening the favorites menu. While entering the vehicle, name places and health bars will now display consistently while in a vehicle. Settings for look sensitivity will now affect the vehicle camera. Kaiser and Vasco will no longer both sit in the Rev 8 when following the player. The vehicle icon will no longer display in interior maps. The vehicle lights will no longer be automatically on when loading a save. Fast travel distance for the vehicle is now in line with other POIs and landed ships. UI Xbox display settings resolved an issue where setting the phone rate target to 60 would automatically revert the priority back to performance. Removed a debug string that would display when uploading saves on Xbox to customer service. Updated the skills menu to resolve an issue in large font mode. For certain languages, resources with long names are now truncated for large font mode when scanning. Resolved an issue with large font mode in the barter menu when selling higher quantities of items. Temporarily, text will no longer display if you quickly select the continue option from the main menu. Ship registration costs will now display the accurate amount both on vendors and the hangar menu. Address mass display when selling items from ship cargo. Skill challenge pop-ups will now have truncated text instead of shrunken text where applicable resolved an issue with gravity wells appearing on the missions menu. When opening it from the star map. Location names and quest objectives will now truncate properly on the planet map. Creation store title displays fully in all languages. A message prompt will appear when trying to load a save where creation is unavailable on the current platform. Weapons will default to their original skin in the menus if a weapon skin address the incorrect notification insufficient credits when an exceptionally large number of credits are available. Ammo count should now display correctly for values over 100k. The damage pop-up now can now display numbers larger than four digits addressed an issue caused by aiming down sights while pickpocketing a character. 
crew menu will now correctly display when someone is assigned to the player's home. The repair button is no longer visible in the hangar inspect menu, resolved an issue with waiting that could briefly cause unintended text to appear. Healing items now preview the Warning amount of health restored. Storage machine. containers will Please now have their weight updated safety. when all items are cleared three, from them. Two, the ship marker one. and the scanner will display at the correct location when docked at a space station. Crafting completion confirmation prompt will now be spaced correctly for longer titles. Tunneling creatures will no longer show their name, plates, or quest targets when tunneling. Scanner anomalies can now be a landing target while piloting a ship in orbit. Increased center channel audio usage for surrounding setups address an issue that could cause power allocation audio to play repeatedly while the engine system is damaged with one power allocated. Ecliptic mercenary voices now use the same filtering in all languages. All right, and now we are through with the patch notes. Boy, that was a lot to take in. But you know what the saying is: Rome was not built. Power in a cell belt. connected. Report to operations for system. Now you all can actually enjoy the rest of this video in its entirety that I've constructed and put together from actually doing this new Shattered Space DLC mission, which I did cut out a lot of the combat. Um because I didn't want I didn't want to completely spoil the actual DLC for some of you who might not have tried it yet or are willing to try it. I mean, obviously, yes, there are spoilers, but I've tried to minimize as much as I could for you guys. Where did they go? Something is wrong. No, not now. I have to hold on. As we basically engage in this ectogasmic anomaly, excuse me if I didn't, if I just butchered that, I'm I'm actually tired, tired from reading all those damn patch notes. Um, but yeah, as we battle this anomaly on the spaceship, um, it's actually space station. It's not a spaceship. What are my thoughts? Um. It's the same as I've been saying if you've checked my playlist on this, which is the game is awesome. It is one of the best games that has come out and it's still out from 2023 going into 2024, which we're almost done with 2024. I'm not surprised. Bethesda is a dedicated team. Um, will some of you be returning to the game after these patches and updates? I don't know. That's on you. For me, sometimes the game can be overwhelming because I'm like, there's so much dialogue, so much to explore and see. I don't even understand how some of you have even had 10, 12, 13, and 14 new game pluses. And I've seen all sorts of crazy discussions from the community. I'm still on my first playthrough, still early in only a level 24 which after this battle just took me to a level 25 this actual shattered space dlc recommends that you'll be at level 35 before you start it i'm bold and brave like that because i've i play bethesda games and me being 10 levels lower Main than what the initiated. 
reckless it is doesn't bother me as I literally just breeze through this whole beginning of the Shattered Space All major systems on standby. Is it easy? Yes and no. The enemies do a significant amount of damage. I hope you have enough med kits stocked up. So salute to all you gamers and players, pilots, explorers, bounty hunters, builders, etc. The whole Starfield community. Shout out to all of you. Whether you are five, six hundred, a thousand hours in, t- freaking twenty-four hours Incoming in, no matter what's your playtime, salute to you all. The, the game is amazing. The Festa team is dedicated to obviously fixing and making the game better than what it was at launch. Something that I knew and expected. Nothing short from them. Nothing. I'm not surprised. Are there still things missing and things that they could add? Absolutely. Um, I don't really have like the mindset to really jog through everything that's missing that they should add. But hopefully we see them add some of these things that I feel should be added into the game soon. So my closing thoughts on the Shattered Space DLC is I can't wait to continue my quest on it. Um, I would definitely do my best to cover more of this newly added DLC. Hopefully you all tune in. If you want to tune in to watch the journey, um, whether you are a Starfield enthusiast or hater, be my guest. You're always more than welcome here to support the channel. And you can do so by simply leaving a comment, smashing the like button, follow me, share, Hit the subscribe bell notification so you don't miss this or any more must-see variety Xbox Series X gaming and gaming news. As I just get a nice panorama of space, the final frontier. Um, It was truly a joy to bring you guys some of this footage. Like I said, once again... I got so much more that I want to share with you and hopefully you all decide to join along for the ride. It is always appreciated. Until next time, everyone, peace and be well. Noob out.